This focus clutch concentric cylinder failed in the gearbox. You can see it leaking here. Meaning that the gearbox needed removing. This is how it's removed, step by step. To access the top, we need to remove the airbox. Disconnect induction pipe, sensor multi-plug, and vacuum pipe. It will then pull out. Next, the battery and battery casing needs removing. The front cover pops off. You will need to slide it forward, to take off the negative terminal. Then, the steel base plate will unbolt, allowing access to the upper fasteners and cables. Now, the gear cables, wiring harness and, hydraulic pipe, can all be removed. The gear cable clip, slides back, and lift off. The ball joint, will pop off with some steady force, by twisting off. Disconnect the two multi-plugs. These can all now be moved out of the way. Now, loosen the gearbox mount b old the couple of threads, don't remove yet. Then you can remove the top starter and gearbox b olds Safely raise vehicle and remove front wheels. Remove inner wheel arch liner on gearbox side. You can now take off the hub nuts. Then remove the lower ball joints. Before removing the shafts, drain gear oil into a suitable container. I use a long pry bar to pop out the drive shaft. The drive shaft is longer on the other side. It has a bearing in the center. Just remove the bracket, then pull out. Now, the lower engine mount can be removed. Remove starter motor, and back gearbox bolt E. Following round the gearbox remove remaining fasteners, except one at the front. If you're lucky, you will be able to remove the exhaust bolt to undo the last one. But before you do, support engine and carefully lower by removing the earlier mentioned mount bolt. If this doesn't come out, you can see the immediate problem. With engine and box safe and lowered enough. Remove engine mount block. Now with assistance the box can be carefully be removed. The clutch was checked for wear and condition, in this case it wasn't replaced. Only the hydraulic slave was changed. Simply change, and clean bell housing. Take a look at the faulty cylinder. Now just rebuild in reverse order. Has this happened to you? How did you find the job? Leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.